In today's Draw With Me video, I'm going to show you how to draw this cute, simple cosmos flower step by step. This is a beginner friendly tutorial and I'm going to go through every single step in detail. This is a real time tutorial, so there will be no speeding up and anyone can follow along, even if you have no drawing experience because we're going to simplify everything into really simple shapes. If you're interested, please keep on watching. Hello and welcome to Color with Kendi. For today's video, I have a Procreate file available for you that has all of the reference photos that we'll be using and it also has a few other layers to get you started. You can get this file for free in the link in the description as well as the pinned comment. Okay, so let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is import the file into Procreate. The way you can do it is you can download the file first into your files and then hit import and pick that file and it will import it into Procreate for you. So here we are, this is the file that you get and you will see that there are a bunch of different references. They're all grouped together. These are all the references that we'll be using today. And there is a layer where we're going to draw the basic shapes first. And here we're going to do the final sketch together. And if you'd like to use the same brush as me, that's also available for download for free in the link below. It is the rough sketch brush from my pencil set and it's available for free for this tutorial. Okay, so now that you're all set with the downloads, let's get into it. So the first step, we're going to zoom out a little bit. And basically what we have here is four different reference photos showing the flowers in different angles. So by the end of this video, you will know how to draw this flower with the different angles. And we're gonna start off with the easiest one first. So what I want you to do is zoom in and we're gonna start with this flower first. I'm gonna tackle that. Let's go to the layers panel and you can tap on Cosmos 4. And what we want to do is you're going to use this reference image that I got off of, I believe I got this off of, not Canva, uh, probably Unsplash or Pixabay. So these are all copyright free images. And what we're going to do is we're gonna tap on N and we're going to reduce the opacity so that we can use this reference photo, but we're not going to completely trace it. We're going to try to figure out the basic shapes together. So let's reduce the opacity to, let's say about 35. So that way you can see the image underneath, but we're not gonna worry about the details. So now what I want you to do is go to the basic shapes layer, and we're going to simplify this flower into very basic shapes. So to do that, let's make sure we have the right pencil selected, pick any pencil that you like. And I'm going to choose a pretty bright color so you can see the shape. So I'm gonna go here and pick kind of like a bright magenta. You can pick any color that you like, just something that you can see clearly. And when it comes to flowers, I find that you can simplify any flower into a couple basic shapes. So one is a circle. So if you can draw a circle and an oval, and curves and lines, you can draw pretty much any flower. It's all about making the basic shapes first and then doing your final sketch. So when I look at this particular flower, where do I see a circle? I see a circle in the center. So that's one of the basic shapes. So I'm gonna draw that in. Now I also see another circle. If I were to join all of the tips of these petals, they would basically form another circle or oval depending on the flower. So it kind of looks circular to me here. So we've got a circle and then we have another circle. Now when it comes to drawing petals, I don't like to go right into drawing the petals. I like to draw lines to indicate the centers of those petals. So I'm going to do that. So just take a line that goes from the center to the outer circle that indicates the center of the petal. So I want to go around and do that. It doesn't need to be perfect. And this one, I feel that there's a slight curve. So instead of drawing a straight line like that, I'm just going to draw a very gentle curve. So once I've indicated the center of the petals with these lines, the next thing is to create the petals with curves. So I just go through each petal one by one and essentially what you're doing is you're just creating a curve that goes from the center here 
to that outer circle. And then you create another curve that goes from that outer circle to the center. And you'll notice that some petals are underneath, some petals are on top. So I always like to do the petals that are on top first. And then I'll do the petals that are underneath. So there's a curve. So now it's essentially just creating the curves. I'm not tracing entirely, but I'm using the basic shapes. So now I'm going to turn off that reference layer. So what you'll see here is the basic shapes of this particular flower. And once you have these basic shapes, then you can go in and do the final sketch, which we're going to do after we've done the basic shapes for all of these flowers. So this was the first flower. Now let's do the same thing for the other flowers. So I'm going to tap on this. I'm going to turn that back on. And let's see, which one do we want to do next? I think this one's a good one to try next, a side profile. So what I'm going to do is tap on that, tap on N, and then reduce the opacity. Again, same process to about 35. And then we're gonna go to our basic shapes layer and do the exact same thing. So now let's look at this and think about the shapes that we have here. So we have a line here for sure. So when you have a stem, I always like to put the stem in first. So there we go, we have a line and another line. That's simple. Now this kind of looks a little bit like a curve here. Do you see, it kind of looks like a curve. So I'm gonna draw that curve in and the line. Again, we're not trying to make this perfect. We're gonna add the details later. We're just trying to get the basic shapes first. And this kind of looks like two curves coming out like that. And now what we see here, the petals. So this petal, as I said, with petals, what I like to do is draw the center line of the petals first. So this one I feel kind of looks like that. This one looks like this. This one looks like this. And then there's one here. So once I've drawn the center lines, it's a lot easier to draw the actual petals. So now all I have to do is join this segment here to this with a curve. So that's a curve there. And then there's a curve. And then there's a curve here. And then kind of the same thing there. And there's also a petal behind here, which I guess you can draw the center line here, but you can't really see it because it's being covered by this petal and then a curve. So as you can see, I didn't trace it exactly, but I just simplified it into basic shapes. And then what we're going to do in the next step is we're going to take these basic shapes and then create details from it. So now let's go on and do the same thing for these two flowers. So let's start with this one. So let's go back here to the reference. And I think it's this one here. I'm going to reduce the opacity. To 35 and okay so now let's look at this so what we have what I see here is the lines oops I'm on the wrong layer I can tell you're on the long layer when your color isn't that intense I'm gonna go back to basic shapes so there's a line here there's a line here there's another line here and another line here so you've got the lines I always start with the lines and then I like to start with the centers of the flowers if I can see them so here we kind of have an oval shape. This is more circular, so I draw those in. And now let's start with this flower here. So as you can see, this kind of looks a little bit like an oval. So I'm going to draw that in. And this one looks like a more elongated oval. This is kind of like a fat oval that almost looks like a circle. This one is like an elongated oval. Again, doesn't need to be perfect. We're just trying to create the basic shapes. So now I have that basic shape in this one and we'll do this one here too. So this one kind of looks like a curve and then it has a line. So it's almost like a cup and it has some details coming out there. And if you wanna add some more details here, you can. These are just kind of lines. You can draw those in if you'd like. 
So now let's tackle the center lines of the petals, because that's usually the next step. So here, I would not draw them straight, because it doesn't make sense. There's a slight curve to that petal. So I'm gonna draw it with a slight curve. I hope you can see this. I can see this on my screen, but I hope it translates. And another center line, another center line, and just go around and draw the center lines of all the petals. Now this petal is interesting because it's coming towards us, so it's shorter than this one. This one looks longer, this one looks shorter because it's coming towards us, so that's fine. So I'm just gonna create a center line that looks like this. I'm gonna do the same thing here, center line, center line. Okay, so now the center lines are all done. Now the next step is to draw in the curves that join the center of the flower to the outside circle. And remember I said that this particular leaf, not leaf, sorry, petal, is coming towards us so the shape is a bit different it's not like this it's more like this it's kind of more blobby and then we have this petal here and this petal and then this petal so you're just basically referencing the image underneath Oops, I don't know what happened there. Okay, and then now let's move on to the basic shapes for this particular flower. So what we're gonna do again, we're going to reduce the opacity of it to about 35, and then we're gonna go back to the basic shapes layer. So this one's a little bit different, a little bit more challenging because we have more of a curve. Do you see the petal doesn't go straight out? There's a curve. So when we draw the center lines of the petals, we need to make sure that they're curves. But let's simplify it. So what was the process? We start with the lines first for the stem. So very simple there. Then circle for the center. And now let's kind of draw that oval. So now you see that with this oval, this distance here is shorter than this distance here. That kind of indicates that there's more curve on this side and that's why it looks shorter. The petals generally are roughly the same size on both sides, it's just that they're curved here, so it looks shorter. So now after we've drawn the center circle and the outer circle, let's draw the center lines for all the petals. So instead of going straight out like that, I want to indicate the fact that there is a little bit of a curve here. So I'm gonna go out like that. This one's not as curved. This one kind of goes out straight, so that's fine. This one, there's a bit of a curve. So add a little curve there. Now it really gets tricky because all of these are really curved. So you can kind of see the lines here on the petal itself. So that's a good indication of the curve that you should be adding here. This one's also curving like this. This one, this one's interesting because it's quite short. So I'm gonna draw it like that. This one curves like this. And then this one curves like this. Okay, so now I've drawn the center lines for all of these petals. Now it's time to actually draw the petals. So what would we do? Same thing, a curve that joins the center to the outside circle. Now, with this particular flower, there's a little bit of an interesting shape at the end here. Instead of a curve like this, you kind of see like a triangular pattern here. So we can draw that in. Then curve, curve, and we can draw this in as well. But you don't see that triangular pattern as much here because of the way that petal is curved. But we're just gonna draw the curves to join 
the center circle to the outer circle. And like that. So I'm indicating some of that interesting shape because it's not completely round. And here, there's a curve. There's another curve here. Then a curve, another curve here. Again, I am not referencing it entirely because I'm not drawing this shape here. I'm just keeping it relatively simple. Okay, so to recap, what we've done is we have reduced the opacity of all of the reference images, and then we've simplified the shapes of these flowers with circles, ovals, and curve lines. And we've also indicated the center of all of the petals to indicate the curve. So now we kind of have a good sense of what these flowers look like. And now we can go in and do our final sketch and we can turn off our reference images. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this group by tapping on this here. So that closes the group and I'm just going to turn it off. I don't really need it anymore. I just need to reference my basic shapes. So now what I'm going to do is this basic shapes layer. I'm going to tap on N and I'm going to reduce the opacity and then we're going to do our final sketch together. So I would reduce the opacity to roughly, let's say, 40% so you can still see it because we're still going to use that, I guess, framework, kind of like the framework of all these flowers. Now let's tap on final sketch and let's pick a color that looks more like a sketchy color. So a very dark gray. So this is black right here. So on the color wheel, if you double tap at the six o'clock position, that's where you get black. And we're going to use a very dark gray. So we're going to move this doesn't want to move. Hello. What's going on? Okay. I think I need to charge my Apple Pencil. I'll be back. Okay. So my Apple Pencil is charged and we have selected a very dark gray. And now we're in the final sketch layer. So let's sketch. So I'm going to go start with this one because I thought that was the easiest one. So let's zoom in and let's just draw in the center. And if you recall, the center had some interesting texture. You can go back to the reference and see that texture. We're not drawing it exactly. We're doing it in a very simplified way. So what I'm going to do is, actually this is a bit big. I'm going to reduce the size to 5%. Let's undo that. And I'm going to draw in the center first and then kind of draw in those shapes by drawing curves like this, essentially. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to follow my basic shapes and create the petals. And if you recall, the petals had a little bit of an interesting curve here. They're not completely like this. They have a little bit of interesting curve. So you can draw that in. It's really your choice if you want to do that or not. I'm going to turn that off. So I'm going to draw that in a little bit. And then I'm gonna draw a curve here and a curve here. And then I'm gonna draw some of these smaller curves. And I'm just gonna go around referencing that the basic shapes and just finishing this drawing. So curve and curve, and then little lines. And same thing here, curve and curve and some lines. And because we've already done the framework, the actual drawing part is so much easier. So there we go. And the original image, I don't think had a stem. It did. I forgot to draw it. So you can draw that in, but you can draw in the stem anywhere you want. At this point, you don't have to reference the original image entirely. I'm going to draw the stem in here and I'm going to leave that quite simple. And what I want to do just for a second is turn off this layer and maybe to bring this to life and add some more detail and you can add in some lines if you'd like as well, some curves. 
to add a little bit more interest. But when you draw these lines, just try to make them go with the curve of the petal. So that petal is curving this way, so I'm gonna go with the curve of the petal. And that's it. Very, very simple. We're going to do the same thing for the rest of the flowers. So same thing here, let's go to this one and draw in the center first, and then you can draw in your details. And as I'm drawing, I'm just referencing those basic shapes and then I'm creating the lines that I want to. It does not need to be perfect. And you can stylize your sketch at this point too. If you want to add more details, you can. If you want to keep it really simple, you can do that too. We're just using the basic shapes as a guide. Curve, and another curve, and some squiggly lines there. Turn off that. And if you want to add more detail to this one, you most certainly can. I'm gonna draw in that. And maybe I'll add some more details in the center. I'm going with the curve and let's turn off basic shapes and have a look. I think it looks decent. It's cute, simple, and it's quite small. Like I would prefer to have this bigger, but the reference images were smaller. We could have made them bigger, but that's okay. Now let's continue. Let's turn on the basic shapes and continue in our final sketch layer. So let's do maybe this one first and let's start with the stem. I always like to start with the stem. It's just a little bit easier. Start with the stem, this is the easiest thing. And then if you recall, we had these kind of shapes, curves that come to a point. Okay, and then same thing. I'm gonna draw the petals in and maybe I'll add a little bit more detail to the tip so it's not completely round. And then let's turn off the basic shapes there and we can start to add in more detail if we'd like here. Some lines to indicate the curve and the line that goes up because it's curving up like this. So that's why I'm putting a line like that. Same thing here, putting in some lines to indicate where it's curving. So lines basically just indicate the curvature. And we're doing this really simple. You could get really fancy with the lines. We're just keeping it simple for today. And I should probably erase that. Don't know why I have that. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty simple. And let's do the last one. So same concept. We draw in our circle first, but it's not a perfect circle. I'm using some light strokes and then we can draw in the details just with 
curves like that. And I forgot to draw the stem. Should have drawn the stem first. And now let's draw in the petals. So one by one, just curves first, the outer curves, and then just complete the shape based off of what we had from the basic shapes exercise. Then let's turn this basic shapes layer off and then we can add a little bit more detail. So again, I'm going with the curve of the petal. And let's erase this. Okay, so we've completed the final sketches. And what you can do at this point is you can refine this further, add more detail if you'd like. You can also use a different brush to create the final line art, and then you can color it as well. We're not going to do that for today's video. Today's video was just about figuring out how to take a reference image, simplifying it into basic shapes, and then creating a sketch that you can use to create a final illustration. I hope this video was useful and gave you some confidence in tackling drawing flowers. And for reference images, I highly suggest checking out Unsplash, Pexels, and Pixabay. It's a great place to find reference images that you can use to create artwork, to do sketch work. So definitely check those websites out. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.